So every morning you're waking up feeling like you slept on the floor where your joints and muscles are achy, painful and stiff. In this video, I'm gonna show you six exercises you can do in the morning to get your body looser, more energetic and ready for a big day ahead. Did you know the most common reason why people get morning stiffness, tiredness, and general pain is from a condition called rheumatoid arthritis. It's a condition that happens between the ages of 30 and 60 and is a big factor that leads to a decline in your health and fitness. Now, whether you have rheumatoid arthritis or not, if you're stiff, painful, and just tender in the first 30 to 60 minutes of your morning, this video is for you. For those who don't know me, my name's Arv. I'm a physiotherapist who's a sucker for coffee and I've been doing this for close to a decade. And I'm here to empower you with the tools and knowledge that you need to feel stronger, healthier, and 10 years younger so you can live longer and do more for the people that you love. Once you hit your 30s and 40s, your body enters the aging process where you begin to lose muscle. It's something called sarcopenia, and it happens after the age of 30, where you start to lose one to 3% of muscle mass every single year. And this is why it's so important that you have a daily routine that helps you exercise and build muscle. And the more muscle you lose, the more stress is put onto your joints, which makes your joints wear out more and more over time. Let me show you. Imagine the hinge that you open and close over and over again. Eventually, over time, that hinge is going to wear out and that hinge is gonna to start to squeak. Now imagine putting a spring where that hinge is, and I want you to use your imagination, putting a spring where that hinge is to give it extra support when it closes and opens. It's gonna give that hinge a lot more support and gives it more durability and longevity over a longer period of time. And this spring represents the muscle that helps support the joints and the joints being your hinge. Now, if you're losing that spring and you're not building upon the spring and making the spring stronger, you're gonna give 60, 70, even 80% of the load to your joints as you get older, which means your joints are gonna start to get inflamed, give you pain and feel the tenderness over and over again every single day. Now that you know all of this, most people think that morning stiffness and pain comes from a bad mattress, kind of like this airbed. And you've probably seen all the advertisements on TV selling you a new mattress with new technology that it has to be firm and X, Y, Z. And with the mattress industry being valued at $52.6 billion in 2023, you can see how this concept has been widely accepted by the population. Now, while a good high quality firm mattress will make you have a better night's sleep, it's not gonna be the solution to your morning pain and morning stiffness. A good mattress is not gonna allow you to build muscle when you're losing muscle through the aging process. A good mattress is not gonna allow you to help stretch tight muscles so you can open up and feel looser and more energetic throughout the day. So what's gonna help you do that is daily exercises, daily workouts that you can do, kind of similar to the workouts and the programs that I have on my Young Again app. Enough talking, let's get into the six exercises. Exercise number one is a lumbar twist. We're gonna make sure we're on the floor, we're gonna lay on our back. Now from here, we're gonna get one leg on top of the other, and this top leg is gonna drag that bottom knee towards the opposite direction as we turn our head towards the opposite direction. Now from here, you should feel a big stretch in the lower back and the glutes, taking a big breath in, and big breath out. As you push that knee lower and lower towards the floor, Hold this for a couple of seconds. We're gonna come back and perform the same movement. Now, what you shouldn't feel with this exercise is that you shouldn't feel any kind of straining or pinching at the front of the hip. If you do, you can adjust your knee position at the bottom here, right? So we're gonna rotate down this way and try to keep the shoulders flat on the floor as well. So we don't want the shoulders lifting up off the floor. You wanna make the shoulders nice and flat as you're twisting and rotating. You wanna perform this about 10 times each side and feel that lower back and glute really open up. The next exercise that we have is a child's pose. And this is great to open up the mid back. We're gonna take a four point kneeling position here. We're gonna have our arms a bit higher from our shoulders, taking a big breath in as we breathe out. Really sinking your bottom towards your heels, driving that chest towards the floor and head between your elbows. Now from here in this position, you should feel a big stretch in the mid back. And from here we wanna use our breathing to get as low as possible and feel that big stretch in that mid back. You're gonna perform about 10 to 20 reps here until this movement starts to feel easy. Feel that nice stretch in that mid back. If you want to make this a bit harder, a bit more of a stretch with your fingers, you can crawl your fingers up a bit higher and sink that hip back closer towards your heels. And just holding this position for a couple of seconds before we come back up and perform another rep. 
Number three, this exercise is one of my favorites. This is to open up the adductors, the muscles on the inside of your thigh. What we're gonna do, we're gonna get into a four point kneeling position like this. We're gonna have one leg out, flat on the floor, taking a big breath in, big breath out. And we're leaning back, making sure that this foot is flat on the floor and we should feel a big stretch in that adductor here. Now, if you wanna make this stretch a bit harder, you can add some rotation. So we're gonna take this left hand here, big breath in, big breath out, and rotate towards the opposite direction. You should feel an increased stretch in this adductor, feeling nice and loose. And then coming back to the very top, you're gonna to perform this about 10 times on each side or just go until you feel loose. And again, adding this rotation, if you feel that this is gonna be something that gives you a bit more, a bit more of a stretch or extra benefit. Awesome. And again, other side, this is how it's gonna look from this side, knee bent and then leaning back. That's nice. Amazing. So exercise number four, we're gonna do a hip flexor kneeling stretch. So we're gonna assume a lunge position. From here, the most important thing is making sure our hips are tilted underneath. So we don't want the hips coming forward like this. Squeeze that bottom, get that core nice and tight. Keep that tight here. And then as we lean forward, we should feel a big, big stretch at the front of that hip. So we're here leaning forward until you feel that big stretch. And this hand is coming up towards the ceiling and leaning to the opposite side. Now you're gonna hold this stretch for about 30 seconds. You can go for 60 seconds if you'd like. And then you're gonna switch legs and perform the same thing on the opposite side. Really good stretch to open up those hips and get that lower back feeling nice and loose. This next stretch is gonna open up your chest and get the shoulders nice and loose. We're gonna have a four point kneeling position like this. Now from here, we're gonna outstretch one hand and we're gonna to try to drive that elbow, or sorry, that elbow, that shoulder down towards the floor as we twist and rotate to the opposite direction. Now in this position, what you don't want to happen is you don't want that shoulder coming up towards the ear like this. So we wanna squeeze the mid back and the shoulders down, right? Keeping that shoulder and mid back down as we twist and drive that chest and shoulder towards the floor. Now again, you should feel a big stretch in the chest and the biceps, chest in this position. And we can repeat on the other side. So we're gonna outstretch the other hand here and then keep that shoulder blade down and back really turning and driving that shoulder and chest down towards the floor. Hold this for about 10, 30 10 to 30 seconds. And then we're gonna repeat on the other side. You can also play around with different angles. So you can go a bit higher, a bit wider with your hands, even a bit lower as well. Whatever feels good, just find those tight spots and lean into it. Exercise number six, we're gonna need a foam roller. If you don't have one, you can use just a soccer ball, a tennis ball, or if not, just the floor. We're gonna start in a four point kneeling position with the foam roller by our side. We're gonna have one hand on top of the foam roller with the palm facing up. Now from here, we're pushing into that roller with this hand, taking a big breath in, and rotating towards that direction. Now, as we rotate, we don't want the hips to fall out. So you don't want your hips to sway side to side. You wanna stay nice and square and just rotating through that mid back. You're gonna do a couple of reps, 10 to 20 reps on the each side. And you should feel that mid back stretching and opening as we twist and rotate. Now you can play around with this and have a bit of fun. We can go the foam roller at a different angle and rotate upwards or having the foam roller downwards and rotating, rotating downwards this way as well. See what works best for you, play around with different angles and perform this on both sides. A quick quiz to test if you were listening from the start of this video, what is the condition that is called when you lose muscle after the age of 30? I want you just to comment A or B down below in the comments below. Is it A or is it B? What condition is it when you lose muscle after the age of 30? Let me know down below. If you haven't tried those exercises, give them a go. And if you like those exercises structured in a home workout program for you, you can go check out my Young Again app where you also have access to pain relief programs, 12 minute mobility routines, and you get a weekly live access to myself through Q and A's where you can ask me everything and anything about your health and fitness. If you'd like to learn more, check out the link in the description below. As always guys, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next video.